Welcome to this edition of Daily World TV. I'm Ajit Chak. I'm your host for the day. Sitting with us here is Carl Koch, who's our expert for the day. The topic of discussion for today is Will Donald Trump bomb North Korea? Trump has set a precedent and done something which Barack Hussein Obama would never have done. He sent 59 missiles to Syria and took out the entire Syrian Air Force. As of now, Syria does not have an Air Force, right? Well, they have an Air Force, so 10 planes were destroyed, but it was just one base that was attacked. Okay. Now, the basic uh, thing is that somebody said that Trump left the runways intact and just not about the buildings and the planes. Well, runways are the easiest thing to repair, so it makes sense that he left them intact. The question is, Trump has sent an aircraft carrier he, he sent a battle group. He uh, sent a battle group? Yeah. To? It, it, North Korea. Yeah, it's uh, left uh, Singapore and is headed to the Korean Peninsula. And it is an attack group that if they want to attack North Korea, this is the group to do it. Okay. So there is, uh, now the question uppermost in almost everybody's mind is, why has China remained quiet following this incident in Syria? B, the Russians and the Iranians have definitely said that they will not allow the US to do it again. But that is like saying, okay, hit me again and I'll show you. That leaves the Chinese now and the North Koreans. Do you think this is the right time, Carol, for the US to actually ensure that the world becomes a safer place by taking out North Korea's facilities for WMDs? and ensuring that once and for all that they don't pursue a nuclear program or you think that Trump may not do any such thing that Trump may actually, this is all bluff and bluster uh, what is your opinion on this? Well, I think that the time to change the regime in North Korea was many years ago going back to Bill Clinton they became a nuclear power when Clinton was president and nothing happened Clinton broke his promises to North Korea you know, North Korea, to give them credit, said that they would give up the nuclear program if they were given reactors that could generate power in place of nuclear energy. Clinton promised those reactors, he broke his promise. But if you listen to the media today, you never even know that happened. So, the time is long overdue because North Korea is out of control. There's a very interesting thing, Haji. WikiLeaks documents proved years ago that under George Bush, China had essentially agreed to cut loose North Korea, allow a reunification of the country with, say, almost the United Korea capital, in exchange for allowing China to essentially be the economic kingpin in that region. They would earn billions and billions of dollars. You can't even calculate how much they'd earn. So we now know that China came this close to saying yes. And it's interesting that China has remained very cool-headed and in fact, they've announced that they are going to give the Trump concessions now on trade. So it might be that North Korea, or, or China is saying, look, North Korea is too toxic for us. We'd rather make money. They'll want something in return. But if peace and stability are it, it's worth it. Just like at some point, if Assad continues to do what he's doing, it's going to be too toxic for Putin and too toxic for Iran. So this is very interesting. Within about 100 days, we'll know. But Trump is in a position now to strike, and he's even said he's considering putting nuclear weapons in South Korea, and China doesn't want that. So uh, the question is therefore still on. Absolutely. Will Trump bomb North Korea? And the possibility of it is very high. Because if the United States feels that it will be impossible to reign in North Korea, they would be forced to take action. If not today, yeah, and also, if they do attack, it's going to be a decapitation strike. It has to be quick, overwhelming force. Uh, time is, it has to be accomplished within hours because North Korea has chemical weapons and they can be fired with normal uh, artillery. That has to not be allowed. Basically, the, the fear that there could be collateral damage in South Korea, because of course, it's not possible for the North Koreans to send a missile to New York. But they can definitely send a missile across the border and kill thousands of innocents on the Yeah, say almost 50 miles from the North Korea border. That, that's peace shooting range. Yeah. 
Thank you, Kim. Thank you so much.